It's been a long time since I actually worked on this TI. So it is 2019 and race season is like two weeks, three weeks from now. Well, actually my my first actual competition race that I'm trying to go is actually like three weeks from now. It's at the end of April, which is great life. Hopefully I can make it. Hopefully, I don't know yet. But today I am going to be doing something that I, I have really haven't had like no brake problems, but I have, um, I'm gonna do something <coughs> to help my uh, brakes be a lot cooler at the track and not kinda, you know, have a little bit of brake fade to actually have all that stopping power all the way to the end of the session. So out there, there is something called uh, the SBTK Fog Light Delete. Uh, I was talking to him on Instagram and I kinda gave him, pitched him an idea of some a brake ducting and uh, he loved it and he actually made a uh, some fog light deletes for me with some brake uh, ducting. So this is pretty much the fog light deletes with the brake ducting right here. Uh, I am supposed to, it's not a full kit, it's just it's just this little piece right here with the uh, fog light deletes. Uh, I sent him the, uh, you know, the link of where to find uh, up this piece right here. And um, you know, he basically made it all for me with all the little, you know, riveted and uh, the little, uh, you know the cover for to make sure that everything is nice and sealed tight if you guys don't know sbtk makes some fog light deletes which is pretty much a cover that goes uh replaces this you delete the fog lights and my dog wants to uh, i don't know my dog wants to play with this but i don't know here you go here you go winter get it get it get it get it anyways uh as you know sbtk deletes they do uh fog light deletes you pretty much take all this whole part off and you pretty much have uh, this and to replace that and you're deleting your uh, turn signal and your fog lights. So today we're gonna be making, uh, well not making anything, we're pretty much taking the bumper off and replacing my fog lights and turn signal. So the first thing I gotta do is pretty much get my splitter loosen up. Uh, I might be taking off the splitter actually uh, completely off because I'm going to be kind of revising my current splitter uh, So that's for another video. So just stay tuned for that if you are not a subscriber just subscribe so you can actually um, You know see what I'm gonna be doing to the splitter uh, It is cables. They hold my weight too with that. I'll show you guys on uh, my splitter video So what I'll be doing is just taking off the bumper off so I can actually um, you know, take the fog lights out, all that, all those parts out, and get those things. And I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that's pretty simple. It's just pretty much taking off and bolting those on, and we call it a day. And then after that, I have to find. Um, I do have some uh, like ducting hoses uh, that I have it kind of saved on my computer to buy it and something. I just got to figure it out how to duck all the way to the brake calipers. So let's start with the bumper real quick. Uh, take this off and then let's go to, to that. All right, so the bumper is off, and it's really actually pretty simple to take this off. There's a couple clips on the back of the uh, of this little cover here, and this actually pops off. These have two 10 millimeter bolts, and these has two screws, and actually just everything comes off. It's pretty simple to do. 
never realized, oh, actually, I, I, I know my bumper is really messed up, but my bumper is really, has some, a lot of freaking battle scars. It's not clean, it's all scratched up, has like, the, it's ugly. I kind of want to, another different bumper. But, uh, let me see if I can get you there. There's clips here, clips there, just pretty much pop those clips out. Here's the two 10 millimeter bolts, and down here are the two uh, screws, and that's pretty much it. Everything comes off pretty easy. And then uh, we'll go to get the uh, fog light delete. After you kind of know what to do, it takes pretty much like a minute to pretty much take take everything off, uh, and then everything is exposed right here. Uh, just to I uh, just want to clarify something: you don't have to uh, take the bumper off. It's it's in the instructions of uh, SBTK deletes that you don't have to take off the bumper. Just go underneath and do it from the back um, by like taking the cover off on the bottom. Uh, you don't have to take this off, but I, I did this because I have more plans for, for later. Um, and I needed to take the bumper off. I got a bunch of stuff to do to the SDI. But uh, yeah, this is pretty simple. And this is my little fog light delete. All you got to do is pretty much put in this side of the hole right here. And then you guide these bolts into those holes right there. And then you take the, uh, there's like washers and bolts, so uh, pretty much you hand tighten in this. You don't use, uh, you know, tools. Just hand tighten it pretty nice and tight. You can push down, hand tighten it, and that's pretty much it. It should hold all the way. And I'm doing a test at Trek, so um, hopefully it doesn't fly away. And then actually, uh, you know, it's actually pretty good. So let me uh, finish this up real quick and just pretty much call it a day. So there you have it, I'm gonna show you from far, uh, from from there, kind of far away so you can kind of see it. I'm, uh, I'll put it in the bumper in a little bit. Uh, there's one side right here, and then you have the other side right over here. They're all installed really quick. And let me put it on the bumper so you can kind of see it. I have to kind of um, uh, lower that splitter too, so easy installment. All right, so there it is, the uh, SBT. K deletes. Uh, this is for this is for brake ducting for me. Uh, I don't know if they're gonna be making it for anybody else, but they made it for me specifically. Uh, pretty simple to do. This is the other side right here. I wish my car was actually cleaner than this, but it's pretty disgusting. Uh, this bumper is not really sitting properly. It's not. Uh, it's just bolted on top and uh, maybe like a couple clips on the bottom. But here you go, and I don't know if you guys can see inside. No, you can't. Maybe you can see it on this side. There we go. Kind of see the wheel. Uh, so, yeah, the plan is to basically uh, put some hoses in here to go somewhere in there and then right back out to the brakes in the back of the brakes so i gotta figure that out which is going to be sometime in the future and uh well mostly before um you know we do actual track day and then uh yeah that's um pretty much it if you guys have it you can see it there uh, I wish I actually had the whole, um, like, the whole, like, hoses that I actually needed for, uh, for this, for myself. Uh, but, at least I give you kind of like a quick little, uh, install there for the actual fog light deletes 
from SBTK. Um, it's you know it's pretty simple for those guys that want to kind of like have that better clean look and, and don't care about their fog lights or maybe turn signals. Turn signals you probably have to do uh, the switchbacks and then do the C lights on on your car and then make it work that way. And that is something I want to do in the near future, but I don't really use the car for the street, so uh, it goes out some sometimes. So. Yeah, uh, I got tons of work, so I'm going to end the video here. Hope you guys enjoy this little short video, and yeah, just keep watching. I have so much work to do on the STI, and that's pretty much it. See you guys in the next one.